Hey everybody, welcome back to Outdoor Inspirations. My name is Blake and we are in Silverthorne, Colorado on the Meadow Trail above Dillon Dam Reservoir. And it is absolutely beautiful out here today. The sun is shining. This is the first day we've had clear skies since we've been here. And it's 31 degrees, I think, um, and which is actually warm compared to the last couple days. But just figured we'd take you guys around and uh, see some of the sights, like these beautiful mountains back here behind me. So hope you guys enjoy. Now we're at the Dillon Dam Reservoir, which is also called Lake Dillon. Um, it was, there was a dam constructed in 1963 to block up the Blue River. Um, it's a, I mean, this lake is huge, and it actually is the water supply for Denver, uh, which I didn't know, which is pretty cool. Uh, but it sits along the side of Dillon, uh, the town of Dillon, which um, has actually some really cool spots. And we've been staying right outside of Dillon uh, in Silverthorne. And, uh, it's, it's kind of that little ski town where there's all the ski mountains around. You got Copper Mountain, you got Breckenridge, uh, Vail is nearby. So yeah, it's, it's a wonderful place. It's, it's really cool with a lot of awesome views. Um, so yeah. All right guys, so from right here, we can see the town of Dillon over on that side of the lake. Then over here is Silverthorne. And then behind me right here is Buffalo Mountain. Um, it's an elevation of 12,777 feet. There is a trail up there, but you have to have like spikes to, to go up and we don't have spikes. So we're on this trail. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, I mean, it speaks for itself, the beautiful scenery. Um, Red Peak is, is right beside it as well. I don't know what the elevation is for that, but um, I mean, this the mountain range is just crazy here. Coming from North Carolina and, and seeing the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Appalachian Mountains, it's nothing in comparison to the Rockies. Um, this is my fourth time out here and it never, it never ceases to amaze me of how beautiful it is out here. All right, so all up and down this path um, and all up and down the mountain itself, there are these Douglas firs. Um, they are evergreen conifers. And the, the thing that's really interesting, interesting about them is that their root structure is super strong. And so they're able to withstand a lot of weight getting pushed up against them. They're not gonna knock over as easy. So that's why you'll see them um, where there's a lot of snow and all that snow pushing down on it um, really isn't gonna affect it because those roots are real nice and strong and dug in. Um, but yeah, like I said, the evergreen conifer. Um, so obviously they don't lose their needles. Um, they got some really cool needles and um, the, uh, the structure of the, the tree itself, the, the bark is pretty cool looking too. Um, each different one has kind of a different, I guess, tone to it. Some are a little bit darker, some are more brown, some are more uh, like grayish. And so it gives a, a lot of color and even when it's uh, winter out and, and other trees would have lost their, their leaves and um, a lot of trees have very similar bark from tree to tree. So um, yeah, they're, they're really cool and they can withstand snow, obviously, which I mean, most evergreens can. So, um, but you see a ton of these up here, especially in the Rockies and up in the Northwest and all that. Um, I think that the Douglas fir is actually the uh, Oregon state tree I think they call it an Oregon pine up there. Um, but yeah, they're, they're beautiful and there's tons of them out here. All right, thanks everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit our logo right here to the right of me and hit subscribe. Uh, in the top right corner is our latest video and the video below that is a recommended video from our channel. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.